it had at 68 Warren Heights Boulevard, which is part of their housing, uh, they were doing a check of an apartment that uh, the individual had been evicted from or was scheduled to be evicted from, which they believe was vacant. And upon checking that apartment, they found uh, a pipe bomb uh, inside. Uh, they notified us, one socket police, one socket fire responded. Um, there was an evacuation made of surrounding apartment units. Uh, the state bomb squad was notified uh, from the fire marshal's office. They responded out to that location uh, and they did retrieve uh, what was a small pipe bomb. Uh, at the time of our initial speaking with you, there was some question as to whether it was actually uh, a live device or if it was a hoax or an actual device. Um, that device had been taken back to the state fire marshal's office and examined and they have advised us that it is a pipe bomb. It was an explosive device and it could have detonated. Um, in the meantime, the individual that we believe responsible, uh, we were looking for, we had had word out that we wanted to speak with him. Uh, he <coughs> turned himself into the police station. Uh, as a result of interviewing him, uh, he's going to be charged uh, accordingly with uh, having, that having that device in his apartment. His name is Jan Carlos Martinez Lopez, and he's 22 years old. And before you leave, I'll give you uh, more information on more information on him. So he's going to be charged uh, with the appropriate violations uh, for possession of the explosive device. So that's on that incident. Deputy, is there anything that I no, I think we cover it all. Can, Can we ask a few questions, questions about sure, that? Absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Uh, it was determined that it was a pipe bomb. Was it left there intentionally as a, uh, a get back for having to be evicted? I haven't spoken to the officers that uh, obviously he's still here at our headquarters. The interview still continues, uh, but he's given us enough information and we have enough evidence to charge him with that offense at this particular time. I don't have what, what his exact motive was if it was to cause disruption. So, Or if it was just something that he had that was left behind. Right. Where at this point, that's part of some of the questions that we're waiting to still get answered. Mm -hmm. uh, how many residents had to be evacuated when it was initially found? I'm told it was roughly 50 that we moved around. Uh, you know, there's protocols depending on the size of the device and the location of the device. So the areas that we moved, we thought well, were good enough to, to, uh, that we could create a safe zone. Uh, but we did have to move roughly 50 residents, fire and police. And the device smaller than six <coughs> inches? Yes. Could you describe the device? Is it metal, uh, plastic? I don't, I, I, again, that's at the state fire marshal's office. It's, it, it's <coughs> a, t a, a pipe bomb type device. Uh, it had a wick on it, was approximately four to six inches, in, four to six inches. Type in of length. material in it? Uh, they, set up, they said there was explosive material in it. I, again, from the, this is all within the last 20 minutes from uh, the fire marshal's office. A, a detonator on it or a, a wick device? A wick. Looked like a wick. So you'd have to physically you'd light it? You'd have to light it. it and it looked like it was set to explode, yes. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about discrepancy? First we thought, and I know there was testing that had to be done at the state fire marshal's office. Mm -hmm. First, we initially, and you said there needs to be testing. Mm -hmm. right. We thought at first, initially, this is a hoax. They mm -hmm. didn't find anything. But now we've come to learn that this is treated as an explosive mm -hmm. device. Can you just walk us through what happened with that? Well, we treat it all as it's, it's a live explosive device. But just out of that, without, without testing, we can't confirm it. So mm -hmm. with that, we, we said we were treating it as a, li as a live device. But I couldn't conclusively say that. It could also have potentially been a hoax. But the only way that we were going to learn that is with the state fire marshal's office. And we were told right from the beginning that they couldn't tell on scene. They needed to take it back, and it had to be dismantled. And the, actually, they field tested the substance that was inside it to determine it was explosive. OK, so before there was the testing hadn't been completed? No, we had done no testing. We had done no testing on the scene. The, the fire marshal's office, uh, the bomb squad, made the determination that it was safe for them to retrieve it and move it. They took it back to their office where they dismantled it and tested it and then called us and told us it was in fact an explosive device. As a real device chief, what are the types of charges? Are you talking felonies? They are, felon they are felonies. I believe the charge carries uh, up to 20 up to twenty years. Um, state, local, or federal? It'll be state charges right now. 